Hello. Hola. And bonjour, everybody. This is Doug. And Matthew. From Crow Bros Bodybuilding. MB3. Today we're uh, talking about a topic a subscriber asked us. Does height have anything to do with how hard uh, a movement is, like a different lifting movement, or if height gives any kind of advantage while posing in a bodybuilding routine or something like that? Now, this is a great question, and it obviously is going to like make a difference in just the mechanics of what you're doing, like the lever. Oh, I don't know about leverage, but just gonna because if you have long, <laughs> you yeah, you have more uh, a longer range of motion with exactly. longer like limbs, like arms and legs. So you're gonna have to exert more energy to do the same amount of work. Exactly. For instance, squatting, you're gonna have to go down a little bit farther because you have longer legs. And benching, not to beat a dead horse, but you're gonna have to go down a little farther just because you have longer yeah. arms. It's pretty. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty much common sense. Mm. And then when it comes to competing, uh, I'd say if you're taller and you're starting out or something, it may your muscles, even if you have the same amount of muscle mass as someone else shorter, it, it's more spread out around your body, so maybe it won't look as thick like in exactly. for bodybuilding. It's gonna take longer to develop because for example, to develop all your muscles like to their full potential, for example, like Matthew is saying, take two people, they both weigh the same amount, like let's say 150 pounds, and one guy is six foot tall and the other guy is five five. If in one year they both add five pounds of muscle, it's going to be more spread out over the person that's six foot tall compared to the person that's five five. So they're going to look thicker in yeah. that way. But over time, when the taller person gains a lot of size, yes, yeah. he'll add, he'll. I mean, let's say, let's just take us for example. Me being like five six or whatever, mm. I probably have a limit of. I mean, it's not a permanent limit, but yeah. I'm probably not going to get more than 190 pounds or something, yeah. or maybe 200 pounds if, like, I really keep at it. But then for Doug, being like 6'2 or yeah. small or something, he could do the same amount, and he could get, he's already like 185, 190 almost now, so if he keeps working at it, later on he could be up with the big boys and like the, <laughs> you know, 250-some, I mean, I mean, we have a lot, he's got a lot of time left. So anyway, basically in competing, like Lou Ferrigno versus uh, Franco Colombo. Franco Colombo, like Franco Colombo, if you don't know, is just a really short mm. dude. He would win like the 205 or 211 yeah. weight class in Olympia. 202, I think. 202, I know, whatever somewhere it is. when Arnold would win. And so you just take Arnold or Lou Ferrigno versus Franco. You put them up to, next to each other. Both champions. They're both Olympian mm. champions. But Arnold's obviously going to win. That's why they have two different classes. Exactly. And that is why, in like, let's say the 75 Olympia, people might say that Franco, they, like, obviously it's just all about what you think, I guess, your opinion. But they say that Franco might have looked better than Arnold, but you got to realize that Arnold was like 6'2". And I think that's what might have given him the advantage after he got to his, like, max potential or whatever. Like, they might have given him a couple more points just because he's taller, so overall he looks bigger. Mm -hmm. Especially if you put them right next to each other. Exactly. Anyway, again, beating a dead horse. Uh -huh. I mean, it's in that knapsack. We're just slamming. <laughs> 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 All right, anyway, guys. Hope you liked the video. Speaking of that, you can like this video. You can throw it in a comment. And even subscribe. Boys, come right back. Oh, so, actually, I forgot. Remember, the guys, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. We're finally back uh, together for Thanksgiving break to make some videos for you guys, and we're actually working out in the basement. Classic basement. Today, since both of us have been 